The Premier League is supporting the Heads Up campaign to kickstart a conversation about mental health. And I'm here with Steve Sidwell and Dan Byrne to chat about our experiences. So, boys, what have you got for me? What, uh, how, how do you deal with mental health and things, Dan? Uh, like, I think it's a massive thing at the minute. Um, like, I think as footballers, you go through like massive ups and ups and downs in your career and stuff. And I think like what I would say is that like, I don't think like it's a it doesn't discriminate like mental health. So I think like it doesn't matter what walk of life that you're on, like anyone can sort of suffer from it. And like, I do think it's a big taboo subject and um, like one that needs to be sort of brought up and spoke about. Steve, any experiences? Um, I think. You know, just touching on there what, what Dan said, you know, I think because it's in the public eye now and it's out there so much, I think everyone's more comfortable speaking about it. Whereas before, I mean, like obviously we're old school, aren't we? You know, you come through with an old school yeah. kind of group as well. That mentality was kind of like, it was a weakness, wasn't it? Yeah. You, know, you wouldn't, it. Yeah, you wouldn't speak about it. You wouldn't go and knock on a manager's door. That would be the last thing, the last person you'd want to find out. I think any of the group you were in, at, you wouldn't really want to share it with any group. No. If, if, if I was to share any anything um, sort of men mental health wise, it would always be like friend, uh, friends, yeah. family away from the football club because, like you say, you don't want to show that weakness. Yeah. To you. Yeah. But I think even a lot of people don't even don't even speak to their like if they got a wife or they don't speak to their family. That I think they just they kind of bottled it up so much, and then that's when you see the suicide rate will go up like ridiculous, you know. But I think whereas now it's it's out there and everyone feels you know quite comfortable to like this, have a chat, you know, speak about it. And they say, you know, just speak to someone. Um, and I'm sure if that had been there in the past, that would have helped tons of players and, and people across all walks of life. But I think, I'd, I'd, in a way, I'd like to have had it when I was playing. Um, a bit more support. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Uh, I think there was obviously support was always there. Do you mean do you mean towards the end or coming through or? Yeah, probably coming to, probably more so towards the end. You know, obviously the way I, that I finished as well. I mean that injury that I had that that whole last season kind of killed me really, um, in a way just because I was so desperate to play. Like you could see it in the dressing room, I was desperate yeah. to get back, and that's that's that was my my downfall really of pushing rehab too hard and, and inevitably had to retire. But but even now. Um, the first year when I packed up was all right because I was busy, whereas this year I've missed it so much more yeah. this season. For some reason, I don't know why. I th Christmas as well, because I think the Amazon one with all the yeah. games on, the, it was just there, yeah. non-stop watching. I was like, I really miss it this year, really miss it. Yeah, that's, that's something that, that will come to me, I'm sure, in, in the next two or three years. Four but like, we, we have spoke on that, haven't we, like just, just behind the scenes and yeah. stuff about what it's like to retire and when it hits you and things and like listen I, I worry about that sort of thing like you get used to this every day coming in we, we, we're told to live from a structure aren't we you got to be in at whatever time half nine you're away by half one we're traveling we're eating at this time we, do you know we're told what to do aren't we and then all of a sudden you're off that, that yeah. sort of wheel aren't you yeah. yeah I think so I think as well like I think when you're ill like just got a cold or whatever you normally go to the doctor and stuff but like people don't really think about it like as a like a mental health thing, if, if you're feeling like anxious or depressed and stuff, like it's hard to like go and say to someone about that sort of thing. And I think like what you said before about friends and family and stuff, like like personally, like when like I did struggle a little bit, but when I was, I found it harder to speak to family a little bit about mm. it just because they were there. So yeah. like you'd felt as if when you were going home that they were constantly checking up on you and all that sort of stuff. Would you prefer to speak to someone? So that's where, so like, yeah, I, when, I, when I was at Fulham, like, I was with City, and then we got relegated that season, and then the year we were in the champ, like, I wasn't playing at all, and was struggling a bit with it, so I went to go and see Fulham, and they sent us to see a counsellor and stuff, and I found that better because it was like someone completely outside, outside of it, yeah. and you could speak to them and be truthful about how you were feeling and stuff like that, and, like, it's helped us loads now, because I know that if you have, like, sort of, like, down days or days when you're struggling like you've got the tools to sort of like manage it and realise like like a lot of the stuff that comes up in your head and stuff like you can like manifest and, and, and get a, on a top lot of it, it is normal like you can't be happy yeah. all the time but, it's, yeah. it's all about peaks and troughs yeah. isn't it it's a balance isn't it because people think am I uh, is this a mental health issue am I depressed am I having a down day it's, it's quite confusing isn't it and it's confusing because no one talks about it yeah. Yeah. whereas yeah. I mean if it was an open conversation that you could have around lunch with the players and they'd be like, oh, you say, you know what, I'm, I'm struggling today actually, I don't even know why I can't really put my finger on it, you know, oh, I, you know what? I had that last week, or you know, and this got me through it, or this, whereas it's, it's just sort of like shelved to a side. I think that's the persona as well that footballers bring on themselves, don't they, because they want to be a private life and they yeah, keep everything private, they don't want to bring it up. I think as well, like, 
a message I would say was that like it's okay like not to feel okay if you know yeah. what I mean like it's like you can have down days and stuff like even now like I'll have a day when I'm like you feel you wake up feel a bit anxious but can't quite like sort of put your finger on it you know what I mean but I think like it would help the more that we speak about it and do it like I think it's good that like we give people tools to to deal with it so like if you haven't feeling anxious like thinking why do I feel anxious like, yeah. like a lot of it like say when I was struggling a little bit like if I would go out like have a drink and stuff like that because it would like numb your emotions if you know what I mean like you would you'd feel fine when you were having a drink and stuff because of that but then you wake up the next day and it would be 10 times worse that sort of thing when you see people every day yeah. like there could be people who are really really struggling but you don't see it do you know yeah. what I mean so like it's hard to people like people hide it well don't they but yeah. I think I think the group in general is more accepting yeah. and, and and more like emotional to to somebody's needs I mean we, we yeah. played with with a certain man we won't say his name but we rallied around him didn't we and we tried yeah we tried to help him at yeah. times because we we all recognized you that he the, needed the emotional it. height that he was up and down yeah, yeah. I understand yeah so yeah. so obviously I, I think definitely boys are more open to it when I than when I first broke through I mean like you say it was seen as a weakness you get you get hammered wouldn't you yeah. if, if you were moping around like oh what are you doing like yeah. sort yourself out and it's like this guy could be going through all sorts of things, but you, we don't know. You get left alone, wouldn't you? Really, you'd get sort of isolated from yeah. the group if if that was if that yeah. way it was five, ten years ago, fifteen years ago. Whereas now, I think when you see that, I think there are players now that they get on so much more, and they're like, "Listen, you're right." And obviously, then it's down to the individual to open up a hundred percent. But there's a lot more. You sure you're right? You know I mean, but you can't keep asking. Can you? Can I either go no. once and twice, yeah. and then if it's, if they don't want to open up and speak, then you just go. Do you know what? I have to just take it for his word and just. I hope that he's good. But. Yeah. So, physical health is obviously important in what we do. Mm, yeah. Mental health as important? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. think if not more, like, I think it's, it is it's more. hard to like, like, if you've got the doctors and you're feeling ill, they can tell you exactly what's wrong with you, do you know what I mean? Whereas like, it's hard, like you, you can get caught up in your mind, like what is it? Is it anxiety? Are you just not feeling okay? Like, is it depressed? Like, what I, is it? Do I, I personally feel that mental health is probably the most important thing for me to, to play well on the field. Like, We've got like we've obviously got physios keep us physically right. We've got uh, nutritionists to make sure we eat right, and then obviously we haven't got as much mental health to open up now. But I feel as though if I go and have fish and chips before a game, which is like a big no-no, yeah. I could still get through it if my mind was right. Yeah, Whereas if my mind isn't right and I eat well leading up into it, then you're not getting it out. Well, that is the engine, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, if that is right and in tip-top condition, it just drives this. I mean, you say about physical health, you could be fit and that, but if you wake up in the morning and you go, I don't want to go to the gym today. Then you don't want to get there. Yeah. Whereas if it goes, no, come on, get get out, get out of bed, get yourself out the front I mean, door. When we used to play together, you used to say, what do you used to say to me? See, I used to have a little niggle. <laughs> <laughs> put it in the box. Put it in the box. Put it in the box, <laughs> mate. But it helps, huh? Yeah, and no, just it does. speaking like that and just like, come on, was I put it in the box? Yeah. And it'd be in the box and we'd play, yeah. wouldn't we? Well, that's it, you just rally around people when you get the best out of them because you know deep down that it's in there, but some of them just need a little, a little push. And I needed that. Always there for you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I think you spend like so much time in your head as well, like, and it's only like, like you just have little conversations with yourself all day. Well, you get stuck on that rat, rat yeah. reel, don't you? You don't look from a different perspective. Yeah. You speak to one person, you're like, oh my, yeah, that, that completely makes sense. Yeah. But I've been thinking about that for the last three days. Of course. Yeah. I think the longer you hold on to it as well, do you know, like if there's something that is worrying you, like it's fine to worry about it for like a day, whatever, and that. But it's when you're like holding on to it for weeks and weeks and weeks and not talking about it because. Like I think once you've said it out loud, like sometimes you realise like how stupid mm. half of the yeah, stuff is that you're worrying you just about. Get it out you just say it and then think, oh, I can't even believe I've been worrying about that. But when it's in your head, like it's hard to, like you play tricks on yourself a little bit and like you sort of like convince yourself of stuff. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I think that's where like now it's a little bit better where we can sort of have these conversations with each other and not be like a, not feel uncomfortable having these sort of conversations. Yeah. So I think it's got much easier over the years, isn't it? Especially over the last two years where. I mean, you'll have realised this since you've been in the Premier League, the, how your profile has changed mm. as a player. And obviously, I know we know the club, but as an individual as well. And when you see them powerful people on TV that are heroes to fans and that, and they see people like yourself going through it or other sports icons that are going through it, they're like, wow, if they can open up and speak, then it I've filters got, down I the shame. I think people think we're, we're immune to it. Aren't? Yeah, but exactly. We're just normal at the end of the yeah. day. Yeah, all human beings. Yeah. So like everyone can suffer from it, doesn't matter what water life you come from. Yeah. Like, it's just how everyone can deal with it, right? Yeah, right. Thank you very much, guys. Cool. Cheers, Siddy. Always a pleasure, mate. Cheers, Dan. No worries.